next on Martha. Welcome back. Before the break, we surprised two of our audience members and one of my staffers with their results from the life expectancy calculator. And uh, let's just say that uh, they were quite taken aback. So we've asked Dr. Ridge to come up with five steps to help add years to your life and to help ensure that you're getting the most out of your life. So let's go through these five steps. All right, all right. Starting with number five. All right, you know, I have to get my doctor's bag out for this one. Oh, okay, all right. absolutely. Um, you know, there are lots of things that you're, um, you know, you hear about on television or magazines about health and wellness. Um, and Very compact, isn't nice that nice? Bag. I know, very nice. Mine's this big. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've, I keep very, only the most important things. Okay. Um, and, um, you know, what I wanted to tell people today is that there's some very simple things that you can do that maybe your doctor doesn't have time to tell you that can really add years to your life. So that's what we're going to go through okay. today. So the first thing we're going to do is step number five. All right. Step number five. Let's see. What do I have in here? Okay. All right. <clears throat> Every doctor, of course, carries around some floss. Right. Dental floss. Dental floss. So and how many of you in the audience floss every day? Not that many. Not that many. No. Not that many. Just by doing this simple thing a couple minutes every morning, you add a full year to your life expectancy. Mm. And the reason that works is that um, keeping your gums healthy decreases inflammation in your body. And uh, if you have systemic inflammation, it damages all the vessels in your body, can contribute to heart attack, stroke, those type of things. So, so get out that dental floss, everybody. A few minutes a day. <laughs> a few minutes a day. Okay. Right. Step number four. Step number four. Okay. Of course, this is my favorite one. This is a little hint. Hopefully everyone can get it. Oh. Finding a good doctor right. and communicating with them, like the doctors at Mount Sinai, of course. Um, going to see your doctor on a regular basis, getting all the preventative measures done, can add, just by going to your doctor, adds four years to your life expectancy. Four and, whole years. Yeah, find that doctor, uh, stay with that doctor, um, and be nice to that doctor, and be and, honest with that doctor, right? right? And find. So, Find a doctor that you can communicate yeah. with. That's the most important thing. And, and the, the tip I give people is find a friend or a colleague at work or a relative who has the same temperament or communi communication style that you do mm -hmm. and ask them how they get along with their doctor. If they get along well with that doctor, it'll work for you too. Step number three. Okay, step number three. See, these clues get a little bit harder each time. <laughs> Uh, so here we have a pomegranate and a yoga strap. Good diet and exercise. Good diet and exercise. And, and w what we're talking about here is really how to avoid diabetes. Of course, there are ty different types of diabetes, type 1 diabetes, uh, which you can't really avoid, but you can keep under control. And type 2 diabetes, uh, which is really more related to um, your lifestyle. And diet and exercise are very important. If you can keep, if you're a type 2 diabetic or type 1 diabetic, if you can keep your blood sugars well controlled, um, 100, between 80 and 120, you can add at least six years of your life, if not much, much and more. And how's America doing with the, with the uh, Well, of course, very bad. Diabetes. You know, because type 2 diabetes in particular is related to the obesity epidemic. Um, and, um, you know, Pay attention and, to that. and it, you know, type 2 is being diagnosed in younger and younger people oh. every day. So these type of things are very important. And now number two. Number two. Um, I'm not going to pull out a prop for number two, because <laughs> uh, number two is uh, practice safe sex. And I know a lot of people out here like, that doesn't pertain to me, <laughs> I, I don't do that. Um, but um, practicing safe sex can actually add 20 years to your life expectancy, hmm. a huge number. And um, in fact, most people don't know that one of the highest um, rising incidence rates of HIV infection is among people aged 65 years and older. Wow. So it really pertains to all of us, hmm. all right? 20 years, think about that. And then step number one, the thing that can really add a lot to your life is something as simple as this. You know, every time you go into uh, the like doctor's office, they check your blood pressure. And the reason that they do that um, is because by keeping your blood pressure under control, so a systolic number, that's the top number, 140 or less, or a diastolic, that's the bottom number, at 80 or less, you can add 22 years to your life. 22 years, and if you ask people in the audience, uh, most of them probably could not tell you um, what their blood pressure measurement was the oh, last I time oh, they were there. I'm, I pay such close attention. Well, of course, you to probably that. record everything down, and that's yeah. why you should uh, inspire everyone to do it, <laughs> um, because that's so important. You can buy these monitors for 20 to 50 dollars at your drugstore, and you know, check it every day. Keep it under control. I call blood pressure the silent killer because you're going about your day, you know, blissfully ignorant, and all the time that your blood pressure is elevated, 140 uh, over 140 on the top. 
top number or over 80 on the bottom number, um, it's doing damage to your vessels in your body and uh, those vessels leading to your kidney, to your brain, to your heart. And just by checking it and keeping it under control, you're adding 20 to 4 years to your life. And so always ask your doctor, what, what does it mean? Are, are, are you in, within the safe range of, of blood pressure? And I think that's a good, and write it down. very good suggestion. Write it down, yeah, write it down. And fo just follow your own body. Right? Absolutely. Well, excellent. Well, these are fantastic. To help all of you in our audience embrace healthy living, you're going to go home with a gift today. And uh, a wonderful gift. I love this stuff. And we served it at the hospital uh, yesterday when we cut the ribbon. Uh, you're going home with some a wonderful palm, wonderful 100% pomegranate juice. And I drink this almost every single day. A coupon for a free yoga class at the Iyengar Institute of New York. These are wonderful, wonderful classes. And uh, thank you very much, Dr. Ridge. It's really great to have all this valuable information. When we come back, I'll chat with a woman who's making headlines around the world. And she's a prime example of someone who's living life with vigor at 61.